Hi there and welcome to this deep dive video series. Today we're going to be focused on using augmented AI with Amazon Transcribe. So in today's video we're focused on creating high quality transcriptions. As the volume of multimedia content grows, businesses are demanding high quality transcripts of video and audio files. This can enable things like text queries, improve accessibility, and in general help an institution get more out of their video and audio data. Amazon Augmented AI and Amazon Transcribe can help solve this problem. These ML-powered transcription services can convert text to speech quickly and accurately, and Augmented AI can help add a human review element so that you can quickly identify words that Amazon Transcribe may not correctly transcribe. You can add them to something called a custom vocabulary, and you can then use that to improve your transcription results around those domain-specific terms. So this addresses some of these challenges that you as an organization may face. For example, Transcription quality will go down regardless of the ML model you use if you have domain-specific terms that that model hasn't seen before. Identifying those words can be challenging and it can be time-consuming. Furthermore, using those words to build something like a custom vocabulary takes domain expertise and knowledge. So without a human review element to identify the words that the model is struggling with, it can take substantially more time and effort to identify and list out those words. Additionally, adding a human review element can be costly and take a lot of time. And so having a service that streamlines this process reduces the undifferentiated heavy lifting of adding this human review element. So let's jump in. If you haven't already, you can run through these setup cells. Make sure that you've specified your bucket and make sure that your execution role has these required permissions attached. In these cells, we're just downloading the video we'll be using in this demo, and then we're uploading it to the S3 bucket specified above. Now, there is an option in this notebook to configure it so that you are using more than one video for the demo for the first part where you're transcribing, sending results to humans for review, etc. Um, we're just going to use one video here, but you can just switch out this S3 URI and this cell up here if you wanted to use additional videos. This is the function in which we are defining how we're going to be starting a transcription jobs. And so here you can see that we are taking in a job name, the URI which points to the video we want transcribed, and the bucket where we want the results stored. And we'll use this function later with a custom vocabulary name for the custom vocabulary that we create. And that'll start a transcription job with that custom vocabulary here. So here we're going to start the transcription jobs without the custom vocabulary. And we'll run this cell and wait until it indicates that the transcription job is completed. And this can take around five minutes. So now our transcription job is complete and the results have been stored in S3. So if you go over to the S3 bucket that you specified at the top of the notebook, you'll see a JSON file with a name similar to the following and that will contain the transcription results. If we take a quick look at those results, We've expanded the, the JSON object returned here for readability, and we'll see that it includes the full transcript as well as a list of items. And each item contains a single word or punctuation and the confidence score for that word, as well as the start and end time when the word was found. So in this function, we're parsing the output data and we're creating sentences and we're identifying the min confidence score in those sentences. We're also going to return a list of confidence scores of individual words and then scores themselves, which we use for analysis. And here in the sanity check, you can see that we've parsed out this entire sentence and the min confidence score in that sentence was 0.9136. Here we're going to save that parsed file. And now we can take a look at the confidence scores that transcribe returned. And as you can see, they're pretty high. So let's zoom in to these lower confidence scores by using a threshold. So here you can see with a threshold of 0.6, we're identifying 92 words. And so that means 92 sentences would get sent to humans for review if we use this threshold. If we wanted to send fewer sentences, we could reduce the threshold. So for this demo, we'll use 0.4, that's gonna create nine tasks. So now let's configure Amazon Augmented AI so that we can send off these nine sentences to humans and get them reviewed. So in this section, if you haven't already created a private work team, go ahead and do that and specify your work team ARN in this cell. In this section, you're going to create something called a human task UI. And so this is the user interface that the work team uses to review the video clips or generally for augmented AI that 
UI can be used to review any type of input data that you send. And this worker task template is what defines how the input data is displayed to workers, the instructions that they see, and sometimes even the tools that they can use to review your input data. So this template here is going to be able to take video clips that we're going to parse from the original input file. Each of those video clips is associated with a sentence that has a low confidence word in it. And so workers will be able to listen to and watch the video clips. If they hear a word that was mistranscribed in the sentence that we send them, they can then retranscribe the word themselves and send you the corrected transcription. And so you'll see that the original transcript is includes a liquid template element, and that element is able to take in the original sentence that transcribe returned. And then here, this liquid element is taking in the video clip. And this function is going to be called here, and we're going to generate this human task UI resource in our account, which is associated with this ARN. Next, we're going to create something called a flow definition, or also referred to as a human review workflow. And this defines all the resources that are used for our augmented AI human loop. And so here we're going to identify this human task UI that we created above. We're also going to identify our work team and we're going to specify a task title and task description that workers will see when they're selecting the task. And here you can see that the flow definition is active and so we can move forward. And here we're actually going to start those human loops. And so for every word we encounter with low confidence, and here low confidence means anything at or below the threshold we identified above, we're going to create a human loop and that's going to send a task to our work team. If you notice that the total number of tasks created is less than the number you saw above when you were setting your threshold, that might be because a few words that had a low confidence score are found in the same sentence. So let's move on and check the statuses of our human loops, and here you can see they're all in progress. So we can run this cell to get the worker portal URL and navigate over to the worker portal. Here you'll see the human loop that was created and you can select start working. So here you can see an individual transcription task and here is the original transcription that was returned from Amazon Transcribe. And this video clip is the moment in the video when this person spoke this sentence. And so we're gonna- R, or using Keras or PyTorch or- and we can see that Amazon Transcribe didn't know the word Keras, the popular machine learning framework, and so we're going to fix that transcription. We're also going to fix the punctuation on PyTorch. And then submit. And we'll see a new task loads. And so I'm going to go ahead and finish all of these tasks and return to the notebook. All right, so I finished those human review tasks and I've run a few more cells in this notebook. So as you can see here, all our human review task statuses are now completed and we can see the results are in S3 and we've pulled them here and can see the sentences that I transcribed. Now we're going to use the transcriptions that are returned from our human review tasks and build a custom vocabulary. A custom vocabulary is a list of domain specific terms that can be used to improve Amazon transcribe results on those types of terms, which are less common and also more difficult to transcribe. And so here you can see we've parsed out the sentences into individual words, and we're going to use a corpus of common words to filter out words like we, the, to, um, and identify more common or less common technical terms that we might want to use in our custom vocabulary. And so here you can see we've filtered out the common words, and we have a list of more technical terms here, specifically words like PyTorch, Keras, EBS, we were probably going to want to use in our custom vocabulary. So here you can see we've built out a larger vocabulary using a few videos and you can add more terms to this or if you want to use this notebook for your own use case, you can replace this table with your own domain specific terms and you can use this notebook up to this point to use Amazon A2I to identify those terms by having human reviewers review some of the videos that are of interest or some of the audio files, helping you identify these more technical terms Amazon Transcribe struggles with and then you can add them to your custom vocabulary using a table like this and you can refer to the Amazon Transcribe documentation to learn how to build out that table. And so here we just write our custom vocabulary to a text file, upload it to S3, and then we can create a custom vocabulary resource in our AWS account. So as you can see, we've done that here, and it is an appending state. It takes some time to be ready, but once it's ready, you can go ahead and launch a custom vocabulary transcription job, and you'll include that resource in the call when you launch the job. So let's do that here. And now that transcription job will also take some time to complete, and so we'll wait for that to happen. 
So here we can see that our second transcription job that uses the custom vocabulary has finished, and so we can take a look at the results here. We can see that with a threshold of 0.4, we now only have seven words that were transcribed with that confidence score or less, and then if we bring that up to 0.6, we see that we only have 86 words, whereas previously we had over 90. So on that video, we improved the results using that custom vocabulary. Here, let's take a look at a few more videos. And so what we've done is we've created the ground truth for four videos so that we can analyze something called the word error rate, which is used to analyze transcription quality. And we've considered two of those videos in sample, and we've used them to build out a custom vocabulary. And then we consider the other two videos out of sample. So we didn't look at their transcription. We didn't use it to build a custom vocabulary. However, they're in the same domain as the in sample videos. And so hopefully we can use our custom vocabulary built from the in sample videos to improve transcription quality in the out of sample videos. So we're going to do that in this part of the notebook and then take a look at the results. So now let's look at the word error rate for the in sample video. And you can see that it improved by almost 50% for the first one. So this video was sent to Amazon Transcribe without a custom vocabulary, and we had a word error rate of about 5%, and then that dropped to about 2.6% after we retranscribed the video using that custom vocabulary. For the out-of-sample videos, we can see that the word error rate improved by about 13% and 17.6% for the two videos respectively. And if we look more closely at the improvement of the domain-specific terms, we had over 80% improvement across all the domain-specific terms that we identified in the four videos. So Amazon Transcribe's custom vocabularies are a great way to improve your transcription results, especially around those domain-specific terms that the algorithm may not know without the vocabulary. And you can use Amazon A2I to quickly go through a sample of your videos to identify those technical terms, and then you can use a dictionary to filter out the common words, and you can create a table like we did in this notebook to create your own custom vocabulary and improve your transcription results. So thanks so much for joining us for this demo, and please let us know what you think. We'd love to hear how you're using this walkthrough with your own videos and your own custom vocabulary and the types of results you're getting. If you need some additional resources to get started, you can find them here. Thank you so much for joining today's walkthrough, and we hope you enjoyed it.